Alright guys, hey, what's up? Welcome back. Uh, we are Frozen Tundra Finds, and guess what we found? Ultimate Spin Doctor. I'm pointing to the wrong side of the screen. Well, this neat music loop starts. Uh, let me move my mouse around here. Yeah, okay, just making sure I'm in the... Everything's working anyway. Uh, I have... I don't have the box! I don't have the box! I didn't bring it with me! But, this is Ultimate Spin Doctor. Um, it's also known as, uh, whatever it's called on, um, on Mac, but I knew it as Spin Doctor. So, I think it's Clockworks with an X on Mac, and Spin Doctor on the, uh, computer. So, let's, uh, actually, let's see, I think F1 tells you how to play? F1. The overall object of Spin Doctor is to achieve a high score by completing game levels as quickly and with as many points as possible. As you play each level of Spin Doctor, the object is to maneuver your clock hand around across, across a field of dots while avoiding dangerous obstacles such as colored clock hands, uh, and some other stuff. Okay, nice. Uh, you complete- when you complete a level, you get a bonus. Uh, you get a thousand points for the burst bonus dot, continuing on. And the the goal is this guy here. I know you can see my mouse here. This guy here. Speed bonus. You receive a speed bonus for doing it in the right amount of time. Uh, the bonus dudes are we just went over them. Uh, Hourglass gives you extra time. Type your name into the air for player one. We're now playing a player two game, so we can skip that. Select the time limit and the difficulty setting. Adjust the music and game sounds as desired. And we know we already set those, and that's that's it. Alright, cool. Uh, move your dot. Okay, uh... To swing dot from dot to dot, hold down the key. It's not gonna give us any keys, is it? Alright, we're gonna have to figure out the keys ourselves. Alright. Let's go. Glacier. Single player. No limit on time. Easy mode. Mm, should I bring the- Oh no, that just turns off the background music. The background music is so sick. Alright, I'm pretty sure space is flipped. Welcome to stage one, it's the tutorial. You are the spinning gold or black hand. Use the X key to swing onto the next dot. Use the space bar to flip onto the next dot to flip your- Oh, to flip your rotation there. Use the space- Oh, shift key is to flip onto the next dot. Okay, and then use the Z key to bounce onto the next dot. Okay. Oops. <laughs> okay, uh, boop. And boop. And bloop. Honestly, I'm surprised no one's remade this game. You know? Bonus dot. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Okay, that spins me around. Oop. We're gonna skip the gold dot for now. We're gonna go for this. <sighs> I have so much nostalgia for this. Not even necessarily the music, but because of a, uh... Uh-oh. We just need to chop, chop. And I probably made these noises as a kid. Oh, we just died with the magnificent, like, 90s-tastic explosion noise. I loved this game. I was awful at it as a kid. I probably never got much further than this. But I remember spending, you know, hours upon hours playing this in a room that is no longer what it is anymore. I think it's a bathroom now. And, oh, jeez, I'm already getting back into this. You know, you, you just pick up, you remember old skills from games like this, because it's such a simple, simple game that it's so easy, and I just remember spending so much time. Oh, jeez, come on, there we go. Shwa. Shwa. I, I honestly kind of want to, like, remake this in Unity with a little, better, a little better art assets, because this is in, like, a very small window on my screen. Alright, go. Oh, we missed the bonus dot! <laughs> I bet you someone. Oh, hey. Uh, we, we're already. Look out for spikes. Avoid enemy hands. Spikes don't hurt the enemy, but they will hurt you. I've learned that the hard way. We have three minutes for each level. 
And anyway, I'm in a very speedrunnery mindset right now because of Code Lyoko, which I'm working on routing for at the time of this recording, and I'll probably be... have done a little bit of speedrunning of it. Oh jeez, we need to go the other way. Okay. I love this game. Like, listen to that music. Listen to that music. Is anyone else is anyone old, uh, anyone else here old enough to be nostalgic for this music? Okay, story time about how I originally got this game. Oh jeez. Oh, <clears throat> dang it. I just instinctually went. Oh jeez, and hit space. Um, let's just go for the fast mode. I can go on go for the gold dots later, <laughs> or on my own. I might just why I might wind up playing a bunch of this on my own. We're just gonna wait for this guy, and then we're gonna go. Oh, we're not! Oh, pff, frick. Um, ding! Oh, and this music, it's like, it's, it's, a, it's a MIDI file. I guarantee you this is like a .mid file. It's probably like clockworks.mid. Because that's how they did things then. Or something. It's like, it's, it's probably like music1.mid. Sorry, I was worried about running into that spike when I shouldn't have been worried about running into that spike. Let's get these other goal dots, shall we? Ooh, hey, we can't run into that spike, can we? Okay, and flip. And once more. And goal. Oh, oh geez. Do, do, do. There we go. Ding! Nice. Your previous best was 20,000. So that's a lot better. There's a tiny wall. Walls cannot hurt you, but you gotta go around them. Alright. I'm mostly gonna be using shift and space for this game. This is really a two-button game. This would have been a great Flash game back in the day. I mean, like, at the time this came out, the internet was still naskin enough that Flash games had not really hit their stride. Why is there a spike inside those walls? Was this, like... I don't... I don't get it. I don't understand. What happens if you run into a wall? Do you die? Or are they all placed in such a way that you can't hit them? I don't want to go for that bonus dot, it's gonna kill me. Ooh! Oh no, they just turn you around, we're good. So hitting, hitting, a sp hitting a wall is the same thing as hitting the space key, uh oh. We almost died. Oh geez, we're just gonna hang out over here for a little bit. There we go. Just didn't want to run into the green guy over there. Oh jeez. Uh, ooh yeah! Oh jeez. Nice. Nice! Did we get all the bonus dots too? Oh. I'm not saying anything because I'm too excited about this. Um, I'm too excited to finally be playing this again. Okay, so story about how I okay that's a door switch it did a door I'm gar I guarantee you someone else has played this because this must this must have been somebody else has played this because um also okay so I'm gonna tell my story before I just zone out and play this game for another like 30 minutes like I really should not have recorded things in the order that I recorded them because I'm going to be stuck here Anyway, um, this game, when I found it, it was, uh, it was from my aunt, uh, we're gonna wait for this green door. Is the green door timed? Oh, the green door opens, the green opens, the green hand opens the green door with a green switch. Okay, cool. So anyway. How I got this game originally was in a pack of games called Java Work Break Games or something. Spin lightly or you will awaken the oil whoopsie. Oil globs. Oil globs are harmless as long as they're sleeping. Once you awaken the oil glob, however, you are going to be pursued by it. Make sure it doesn't grab onto the dot which you're spinning. So this. So just don't touch it and we're okay. So we have... We've never seen... <laughs> if I remember right, this was one of the 
later levels that I played as a kid because I was was terrified of the oil plots. Then I would like skip to one of the super late levels. But anyway, this game I got it in a CD from my aunt, which had like a list of like 20 games, and it was called like Java Work Break Games Pack or something. And essentially, it was just a bunch of what were probably pirated Java games. Or maybe they were shareware. I couldn't tell. They were probably just shareware and, you know, like, the actual game. We never purchased the full game. So, anyway, um... Because of your successes so far, you've achieved the rating of Tyro! Nice. Keep up the good work. That's cool. Uh, anyway, this game... Jeez, and you can't pause the game. There's a combination of dangers, just take your time. Um, so I got this game in a pack of games called Java Work Break Games, and I don't think I played, I don't remember anything but Clockworks. Oh, we're not going for those bonus dudes, I'm not. Now is when we stop going for bonuses because I'm in both incredibly lazy and not particularly good at this game. Anyway, this would make a great mobile game. Like, I'm surprised somebody hasn't said, Oh yeah, I can't legally say that this is Clockworks, but this is Clockworks. <laughs> and just made it on a telephone or something. Anyway. Oh, this 90s-tastic music. Like, this was definitely 90s-tastic music because despite me playing it in the early 2000s because I was... Uh, because I was that young. This was this definitely came out in the 90s. I didn't look up anything about this game because I knew I was going to have too much to talk about with my nostalgia for this game. So, I got it in a, in a pack of games called Work Break Games Pack, and this was the only this is the only one I remember from it. There was probably a whole bunch of them. So, you know, that's a thing. Uh, this game was originally made uh Anyway, uh this was this game was originally made and designed by uh, the guy who made Tetris. I think his, his name starts with an A. It's like Alexi something. Wait for the green. Oh yeah, this was fun. This was what I really remembered about the game as a kid. Was um, flipping onto the same thing as the enemies and being like, Haha, you can't get me. Nerr. Yeah, this was the fun part of the game, when you started doing, like, you have to use the, uh... And you have to use the enemies to get places. This was fun. This game is just addictive, and I'm worried that since I'm recording this when I'm recording it, I'm just gonna sit here all day and play it. Like, that's a major issue, because I actually have some stuff to do today. <laughs> but I'm recording this before I get started on anything else. Because I just want to be really excited to record, and this is making me really excited. Anyway, um, I got this game on a group of games called Java Work Break Pack, as I've said like six times in getting interrupted because I don't know how to stop talking about cool things. Um, oh geez, we're gonna have to go all the way back to get those other bonus dots, aren't we? This is just, this is such a two-button game, like, you didn't even need the third, like, Z button or whatever it was. I also keep seeing the edges of the screen as a wall, like where those the, where those uh, where those backgrounds are. But anyway, um, <laughs> it's called Java Work Work Break Games Pack, and I don't know I I don't know if I even could play any of the other games on my computer. I don't know if it would even work. Congratulations on completing this. Just open all the doors. Okay, this shouldn't be hard. Just hit. Oop. Remember, switches open and close doors, so you have to hit these switches first, and then the other switches. So, this one... This game was probably a lot harder for me as a kid. Oops, no, hit that one more time, there we go. Than it is now, because I, while I was a pretty bright kid, I was also not very good at puzzle games. I solved puzzles back then in much the same way that I did as a kid. That is, I just kind of threw myself at them until I figured them out. I just brute- I love to brute force puzzles as a kid. And that's- and everybody thought I was super smart because I could think quickly enough to brute force most puzzles pretty quickly. But, as I got older and had to remember more things, that did not pan out for me. <laughs> so I got less and less good at puzzle games. And like, you guys can see, 
like when I'm doing puzzles in like Zelda or something, you can see that I do this, you know, kind of I brute force puzzles. So anyway, uh, I did actually legally buy this game, like from a thrift store. Uh, let me let me first face what I'm saying with that. I got it from a thrift store. You guys have seen the box on stream, I think. And uh, I'm gonna let it spin for a little bit here. A ring dot disappears as soon as you got another dot. So we're just gonna hang out here for a little bit while I talk. And um, this game is very near and dear to my heart <laughs> because I just grew up. I remember very clearly, like this old. It was probably a gateway something. I don't remember anything about it beyond it being a gateway and it having like the classic, you know, like IBM style mechanical keyboard and. You know, it's the big, you know, CRT monitor that's like this big, and it's got like a giant box on the end like computer monitors are supposed to have, because you're supposed to use CRTs, because I'm old. Anyway, um, and I remember sitting in like this disaster area of an office because like there was nothing, you know, because there was just so much stuff, because this is where my dad sat to do all his like stuff he had to do after work for banking, and where he did all our bills and stuff, and just... Also, my mom did a bunch of crafts on the computers, on the computer in there as well. So, you know, it was just, it was just chaotic to say the least. And I remember, you know, wanting to be like, and it, like after you got the Java Games plaque, like first time you put the CD in there, it would put a little uh, uh, icon on your desktop. So I was like, so young kid me was like, oh yeah, I can just click the icon. And I try, and then it's like, hey, put in the CD. So I'd be like, oh! And I'd have to go turn on the office light and dig through all the stuff to find the CD. And I'm just very nostalgic about this game. Oh, why did it beep at me? Why did it beep? I don't get it. Anyway, um, <laughs> so needless to say, this is not my original copy of the game. Uh, this is... This is a... I, pirated this copy, but I didn't pirate this copy because I bought the game. You guys all saw I have the box at home. Anyway, um, you know, I'm just very nostalgic, you know, like, I can very clearly picture, you know, like, as I start playing the game, you know, you kind of see what's behind the computer, and it was, it was wood panel walls. I remember that very clearly because I was very, very broken up about having to get rid of the wood panel walls when we were redoing the office to make it a bathroom. Oh, no. There we go. Uh, oh, cool, a checkpoint. Uh-oh. Ha, ah, joke's on you. You can't get me. Anyway, um, I just, I have several feelings about this game. Oh, come on, can I please? Thank you. Someone's being loud in the other room, and I'm sorry that you're being loud, but I'm busy. Be loud another time. Oh, apparently that dot that I was just on makes you impermeable to damage. <laughs> Don't forget those bonus dots! God, this game just has so much character, I love it. Uh, this is, that was not my best score. I, I, someone has speedrun this game. I guarantee that someone has speedrun this game. I guarantee it, it must have happened. Here's another great... <laughs> Discover more obstacles and enemies as you play! So, anyway, um... I completely lost what I was saying, but regardless, I have so much nostalgia for this game, and I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna finish level 10, and then I'm gonna leave it, leave the rest of it for another time. You know, if you guys want to find this, I'll probably include a link to where I downloaded this in the description. Oh, jeez, this guy is much slower than me, so I might actually catch him. I remember that as a kid, you know, going like, oh, you can't get me, and then immediately dying, like that. <laughs> It's like, ha ha, you cannot get me, I am on the opposite side, ho ho ho! Okay, we gotta watch out for the blue dude here. Oh yeah, we're fine. Oh, now we're not fine. <laughs> See? We're not fine. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, you know, I... This game, I'm surprised that I've heard no one being nostalgic about this game. Because it just seems like such a nostalgic game to me. You know, it seems like such a nostalgic game to me, of course, because I have a reason to be nostalgic about it. But then, like, this game is just genuinely, like, addictive and fun to play. So, like, I don't get why I'm not seeing any nostalgia for this game. Like, there really should be more of that, I feel, you know. So we're gonna wait for this dynamite. 
welcome to waiting for the dynamite.com. Also, like, this was pre internet for me. Like, this game was before I ever had a chance to do anything involving the internet. Because our internet, our computer, we didn't even get internet until I was like. Oh! I just had. Oh, I just had the most intense wave of nostalgia. I had to cover my face. Okay. I. This is another game that I need to just stop, or I'll sit here for like an entire hour and in a, in a nostalgia fueled days. I'm gonna go. But you guys need to check out, check out this game in the doobly doo. Like I'll include the download link, or or if you'd rather just watch me play it because you don't care about actually playing it, but you want to see somebody play it because it looks good, go right ahead and point that out to me. I just I want to play more of this. Like if if. By the end of Frozen Tundra Finds, nobody wants me to play this. I'm gonna play it the entire thing. I'm gonna just spend a day playing it. I'm so excited that I got this to work. Anyway, guys, um, this is really the only game that, like, <laughs> that I have nostalgia for on the computer that isn't, like, a cheesy browser flash game, because that's where all my PC nostalgia is. That and, like, there was one other game involving a bunch of little blue balls. I think it was Incredible Machine or something. You know, where I would just turn on sandbox mode and build a giant machine that bounces the ball all around the screen. And I remember getting up at, like, 3 in the morning to play it, and then my parents came down at, like, 6 in the morning that, that day, and they were like, well, how long have you been down here? And I was like, I just looked up at them with, like, childlike innocence. I was like, like, 3 hours? <laughs> but, oh, I need to stop. We're already 5 minutes. Oh, we're not 5 minutes over, but we're, we're already over time, and I can sit here all day talking about this. We're gonna run out of time like in the game as well all right i'm gonna go i hope you guys enjoyed this game we found today you can find it in the description and hey thanks for watching and later man